hello guys this is Mohammed Navid from being developer and in today's video we're gonna talk about how we can actually implement web view so let's get started so the first thing is you have to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and the next we will have to create an empty project so which I have already created here so to save the time I have created an empty project here so let's start it by creating some screen for the web view so let's create a new folder for the screens it's it it is better to, uh, to create different screens for the different widgets so let's create a screens folder here and let's create a new dart file which is named to be a web view let's name it to web web view screen okay and now here we have to implement to uh, import the material package and after that we have to create a stateless widget let's name it to web view screen and let's delete this key for now and here we can actually return the scaffold widget scaffold and inside the body we will have to return the web view so in order to use the web view we have to install the package for that so let's search flutter web view and we have to install the package so let's click on the first link and go to the installing tab and from here just copy it and go to the project and go to the pubspec.yml file and paste it here and just press pub get and it will auto install the package for you just wait a second for that okay it is has been installed so go to the web view screen so let's first import the web view flutter dot dot file and here we have to implement the web view web view and here we have to specify a couple of configurations so let's first we have to specify the initial url so let's copy a url from the internet let's say we can convert into app so let's copy it and paste it here and after that we have to enable the javascript so javascript mode javascript javascript mode dot unrestricted and the most important thing in the web view is the controller so controller is basically used to control the web view basically if you want to move the url forward and previous also we want to refresh so for that we have to install the controller so let's create a controller final completer and here we have to use the web view web view controller let's name it to controller equals to completer and let's and it will be of type web view controller after that we have to initialize it in the web view so let's it will be only be initialized when the web view is created so on web view created so it will return a functions having a web view controller it will be a function so in this function we have to basically initialize this completer so for this we have to write completer dot complete and we here we have to 
across the web view we are getting from the web view and actually let's wrap it to the safe area okay and in order to use the web view we have to do a couple of configurations so let me show yeah go to the readme file section and here you can see that we have to specify the minimum sdk variance to 19 so it is pretty easy to do that so let's go to the android folder and go to the app folder and go to the build.grad file and here you have to do it 19 or above so just do it and close it from here and let's run it and test so let me open my phone device here so this is application will be opening here so let's wait for this app is up and running but we are getting an error so basically we have not configured it in the main dot part so let's first import the web view screen here web view screen from the screens folder web view screens and let's create web view screen so let's run it again so this was a tiny mistake from me so let's see how it looks like so the web view is up and running and wow that's great so we can actually click a post and to view the details so that's it for this video and in the next video i will show you that how you can actually build the bottom navigation with the buttons and the forward button previous buttons refresh and the menu button so till that take care of yourself and our channel as well